Hi guys, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. I got the spike from Chameleon Antenna. It's a ground spike that's used with the hybrid micro and the whip or a wire. Now you might remember last year I was hiking in the Pyrenees and testing the uh, MPAS system. And I thought a ground spike would uh, be a good idea. Let's watch it. There are two options I would like to have with the hybrid micro. Um, one is a ground spike, not too thick, uh, so it goes easily in the ground, um, not too heavy, but something that the uh, hy hybrid micro can be screwed on, either with the whip or with a long wire. Uh, I think it would be very useful. Uh, I, I wanted one. I, I felt I needed one. Um. So yeah. I guess uh, I might have uh, inspired uh, Carl from uh, Chameleon Antennas to uh, finally produce a spike for the uh, Hubble Micro. And uh, let's have a closer look. So here's the spike. It's made of stainless steel, so uh, when I mentioned uh, not too heavy to Carl, <laughs> it's not really what I had in mind. That said, uh, this will last forever. I mean, really, extremely rugged. Uh, I, I don't know how I could destroy this thing. I mean, I could use it as a weapon. Uh, this is for the counterpoise. Although I might just uh, screw in the uh, hybrid micro and just uh, put the counterpoise between the two right here, simpler. I might not want to lose this. So there we go. Uh, it's awesome really. I mean, I, I just, uh, I was hoping for one and, and I got one and, and that's perfect. Um, so uh, we'll uh, give it a try. Um, one advantage of having a spike like this is that your antenna is connected to ground. Because of course this is in the ground. So it will give you an advantage, um, certainly, uh, maybe a, a better, um, I don't know, it will act like a bit like a counterpoise. Uh, Earth is about 300 ohms resistance, so stick this in the ground and uh, I think it should, uh, should provide very good results. Uh, well, let's give it a try. I probably shouldn't do this, but... I'm a tester. All right. Want a little trick about the chameleon spike? If you don't have uh, water, you know what to do. Very quick, very easy to set up. Even easier than with the jar mount. Counterpoises are for CCs. Let's not use one. Here's the antenna. Just the uh, hybrid micro, the whip, and of course the spike. Let's see if it tunes without counterpoise. One point two to one. Foxtrot four. Whiskey. Bravo. Yankee. Foxtrot four. Whiskey. Bravo. Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee.
Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. I don't like those contests like uh, DX contact. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, QRP. Thank you very much, you're 59 plus 5, north of France, uh, 73, Fox 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Yesterday I got the uh, P-Loop 2.0 from Chameleon Antennas. The spike was in the box and I was more excited about the spike than I was about the magnetic loop. Because I know the spike is an item that I'm going to be using all the time. Just like the uh, hybrid micro and the whip. They're just so useful. Um, I know it's going to be, uh, to be used again and again. I'm actually going to uh, get the MFJ 17 foot whip and try that on the hybrid micro and the spike. That will be interesting. If you're going on a hike and packing light, adding the uh, spike and maybe the jar mount to the hybrid micro uh, and the whip uh, starting to add up. Um, it's getting heavy. And that's the only uh, critique I'll make of the spike otherwise it's great like I said uh, I wouldn't hesitate to uh, recommend it so have a good one